Hello students, welcome to Sorosis classes. Today we will be solving the JNU School of International Studies MA Economics question paper of year 2016. So let's start with question number one. In question number one, we have been said that we need to determine the absolute minimum for the following function and interval. Gx is given by twice x cube plus 3x square minus 12x plus 4 on the interval on the close interval minus 4 comma 2 the options are minus 4 minus 2 1 and 2 so what we have been given we need to find out the absolute minimum of gx on this interval on the interval minus 4 comma 2 so gx is given as 2x cube plus 3x square minus 12 of x plus 4 now if we differentiate it then we get that g dash x is equal to 6 of x square plus 6 of x minus of 12 now if we take 6 common over here then this will give us x square plus x minus 2 upon breaking this will give us x plus 2 and x minus 1 so this is g dash x now let us find out g double dash x so g double dash x is given by 12 of x plus 6 now for max for maximum or minimum let us write down for maximum or minimum we have g dash x equal to 0 that implies that 6 into x plus 2 into x minus of 1 is equal to 0 that will imply that x is equal to minus 2 or 1 this is what we have got so far so now let us find out g double dash of minus of 2 now g double dash of minus of 2 is 12 into minus 2 plus 6 that is equal to minus 24 plus 8 that is minus 18 which is less than 0 so we get a maximum over here now let us find out g double dash of 1 now g double dash of 1 is 12 into 1 plus 6 that is 18 which is greater than 0 and so we get a minimum over here so minimum value of g of x is equal to g of 1 which is equal to now g of 1 is nothing given by 2 plus 3 minus 12 plus 4 so upon we will get 2 plus 3 is 5 5 minus 12 is minus of 7 minus of 7 plus will give us minus of 3 I, I'm sorry I'm mistaken again 2 plus 3 is 5 5 minus 1 is 5 minus 12 is uh, 5 minus 12 is minus 7 minus 7 plus that is minus 3 so what the question is asking is that we need to find out No, absolutely so we are getting that x equal to 1 the function is minimum so c is the correct option so today we have solved question number one from the jnu sis ma economics question paper of year 2016 we'll be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching services classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much